Spider-Man Miles Morales is the next installment of the Sony Spider-Man games. The game was developed by Insomniac Games for both the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4. It was rumored to be an expansion to the Spider-Man 2 only 18 game, but it's its very own story and video game with its unique villains, gameplay, and coming of age story. It was released on November 12, 2020, and it also has a unique soundtrack where Jaden Smith once again lends his talent to compose music due to him previously being on the soundtrack to the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse movie. He had composed the theme song, I'm Ready for the Game. I saw it in the comment section from my last video that it, I didn't have much gameplay, but this time I became prepared. So let's get into Miles Morales. The game begins with Peter and Miles tailing a convoy, transporting Rhino and other convicts. Things go wrong and they escape. Peter and Miles split up to recapture the criminals at Rhino. Miles had to let the other convicts go and help Peter take down the Rhino. With Peter injured, Miles activates a new ability named the Venom Strike. The ability can send an electrical charge from his body. He defeats Rhino and he is taken into custody by Roxanne. Later, Peter informs Miles that he has to go out of the country for a job that Mary Jane has taken up. So in the meantime, Miles has to protect the city. Peter then gives him his own suit other than just a mask, shorts, and a hoodie. Miles encounters a gang called the Underground that has high power nanotech weapons. They have been targeting Roxanne like having a vendetta against them. Miles meets with his longtime friend Finn at his mom's Christmas dinner. They catch up and reminisce about old times. While attending a campaign rally for his mom, he witnesses the Underground attacking and goes to try to deduce the situation. He finds out they want Roxanne's energy source called Neuroform. During the fight, he comes up against the Tinkerer and is revealed to be Finn. Roxanne then attacks the Underground and Miles. Miles is able to turn invisible and able to escape. Later, Miles investigates on why Finn is doing this. He finds out that her brother Rick was killed by Simon Krieger, the head of Roxanne. Rick was trying to expose Roxanne on having multiple violations, but is covered up to this day. Miles manages to trick Finn into having him join the Underground to gather more information and finds out she wants to blow up the Roxanne Plaza with a new form. He then reveals himself to be Spider-Man before being ambushed by Roxanne due to his, the fact that his uncle Aaron, aka the Prowler, figures out he's Spider-Man early on in the game. They both capture and held in the cells until Miles activates an advanced form of his Venom Strike, knocking out the Roxanne soldiers. They escape but not before they fight and enhance Rhino. They both defeat him, but he taunts Finn about her brother being killed, and she almost kills the rhino, but Miles stops her. She wounds Miles greatly, warning him to stay out of her way or she will kill him. Miles makes it home, and his mom finds out he's Spider-Man. She's pretty okay with it, even though she's scared for him. Finn's plan is about to commence, and Miles goes to stop her until his uncle captures him and locks him in a cell. Having a misguided guilt if he let Miles do this, that he will die just like Miles' dad, Jefferson Davis. Miles says that it doesn't matter if he dies or not. He will not turn his back on the city. He breaks free and defeats his uncle. He goes back to the city and a huge battle is going through Harlem between Roxanne and the Underground. He fights his way through while saving the people of Harlem. His uncle Aaron rises up and helps out with the evacuation. Miles makes it to Finn and the two fight, begging her to stop the plan because if she succeeds, she will not only destroy the plaza but Harlem as well as killing millions. Miles defeats her and he is too injured and barely makes it to the reactor and tries to contain the blast. He stops the reactor but the energy is too much to contain. Finn uses her technology to take Miles several hundred feet into the sky and tells him that, that it's okay for him to let go, which he does, killing Finn. He then falls to the ground and people see him unmasked, but they protect his identity from the press. One month later, Simon Krieger was arrested due to multiple lawsuits and testimony from Aaron Davis, which in return got the reduced sentence. Peter returns and he congratulates Miles for saving the city, and they both head out into the city on patrol as Spider-Man. In the mid credit scene, Norman Osborn tells Dr. Kirk Connors to release his son immediately. In the end, Miles leaves the Science Award on top of a church to honor Finn's memory. Spider-Man Miles Morales is a different type of superhero game in my opinion. As you play the game from the beginning, Miles is a little clumsy when it comes to swinging around and trying to balance himself on flagpoles and etc. His weapons were a slight bit different from Peter's, and a lot better, but they take way too long to recharge once used. The different suits match the style of a young black kid. Who says that Spider-Man can't have a drip and be sauced out? The game also feels like what Luke Cage could have been. 
trust me, if this game was adapted to an MCU film, it would crush the boss office. Miles, even though young and inexperienced, he accepts responsibility as a hero and puts even the most experienced adults in their place. When it comes to doing the right thing, because it's the right thing. Now that's the definition of a hero. Finn was a torn individual that lost her family due to a selfish businessman like Krieger to do anything but to cover his tracks and threw her on the path of the anti-hero. I don't think she killed anyone, but she did hurt a lot of people to get what she wanted. I believe that the guilt of what she had done and saw the error of her ways did her at last act to become a hero and gave her life to save her friend and the city. Spider-Man Rounds realizes it's a damn near perfect story and will hold Spider-Man fans over until the next game. I believe it's going to be good because this is twice they tease Harry Osborn now coming. He's either going to be Venom or the Green Goblin. I guess we will find out when the next game comes out in a few years. But what do you guys think? Is this a, one of the best Spider-Man games or what? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys for watching and see you all next time.